in the oh what a hand I'm waffling on if I want to play Linvala, the, the angel that stops activated abilities for the Heliod matchup. I'm not sure if I do or not, but uh, that's something I'm thinking about over the Needles. But there's also, we played against a lot of Tron yesterday, and the Needles are pretty important for that matchup, so it's kind of close. Ed Blanchett, uh, I, I don't think I said your name correctly, but thank you for your subscription. I do appreciate you being here. Uh, I'm probably actually supposed to get four stuff of this. Get islands here. I mean, I mean, you plan to start playing on paper when organized play returns? Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to be like traveling to every event or anything, but I, I'll definitely be playing like local tournaments, and I'll probably travel to like one or two uh, GPs a year, and then play all the ones locally as well. Maybe maybe like three GPs a year. I used I, I used to do one or two, but maybe maybe now I could do three. I right, could draw. <laughs> think opponents on spirits. I did think that when they played the coast, but now they're on you know inverter. Have I played any blue black or Esper? I played some blue black. I watch a lot of uh, TSP Jindrik play Esper. I do like that deck. I kind of think Esper is better than blue black, uh, but I also think Just Guy is like a little better than Esper, so. I know that's like the hot topic, right? What's the best control deck in the format? And I think it's Chess Guy, but it's honestly very close and everybody's, you know, also super opinionated on it. And if there's one thing, <laughs> there's the word, <laughs> there's one thing I can't, I don't know. Not, I, I, don't know I, I started to make a joke and then wasn't really forming very well. Am I off the inverter herder train? I want to take some time and work on it off stream. There's like, there's like a lot of different directions that that can go, and I'm just not sure the best the best direction. Um, the deck looked amazing on Sunday. We had a bad run yesterday. Um, I'm still trying to figure things out about the deck, figure out what matchups it succeed it's good against, bad against. Just a lot of a lot of thinking to do with that deck. So I'm gonna. Gonna wait until I do some work on it off stream before I bring it back, probably. I think I'm mana leaking this. ACP, eight months, zero month streak, baby. It says two month streak to in my chat. But streaks aren't that important. I'm just happy that you're here. Happy that I get to wake up every day and people are here, it's awesome. You guys got some gifted subs. Yeah, we've had a lot of gifted subs uh, the last uh, couple weeks, but really happy that you're continuing on your own. Sick. Yeah, I do a ton of work on decks off stream, and I, I, I say this every once in a while, but I, I feel like that's a big part of the reason why I found success as a streamer, is that I do a lot of work on decks off stream and uh, I'm able to like have like spicy brews that are, you know, tuned or somewhat tuned when I stream. And then I don't just like, I don't just like play everything. A lot of decks die off stream. Are they, are they dead if I cast Sword of Fire and Ice? We've got four, five, six, plus four. So no, not quite. So I'll play around a counter spell by um, putting in the sword off of the stone forge. That goes the squirrel blade. First match of the day. Uh, we're pretty ahead. Pretty ahead. Wall of Omens look not what the deck wants to be doing. I mean, I think Wall of Omens is like super, super necessary in a deck with Soul Herder and Ephemerate. Uh, so I guess I disagree. I think you like have to play four wall of omens, especially in a prowess meta game. Yeah, I, I would I would qualify us as streets ahead at the moment, especially because now like mana leak can counter a four drop still, and they also like just can't combo this turn no matter what. So they have angel's grace here, but then they're, they're, then they're going to go down to no cards in hand. I've drawn another counter spell. 
It is uh, correct to float mana. I'm not going to float mana because we can never lose this game, and I'm just trying to save time for myself. Uh, but we can never lose this game. Opponents has well, we'll drop to one card and encounter anything. But it, it is correct to uh, to float mana there. They probably should have cast this, right? Yeah. What do I think of set all the records in the board of Squirrel White? I think it's an option if you want to play it. You want to play it over Elder Gargaroth. Uh, I prefer Elder Gargaroth, but um, I guess I mean you could also play it instead of some number of paths. I guess I prefer Gargaroth. Totally fine card to play though. Let's bring in the Veils, the Force of Negation. It's cool that so many people are brewing with Inverter. Um, I really like the list Canister has been playing. Uh, the Inverter Herder deck is showing promise. A lot of cool decks. I think I want a ne Needle for Jace in Sheldock Isle. And I think I'll trim a Jace in this matchup. Maybe I want to keep Jace for blue card count when I bring in the fourth Force, actually. I think I, I, think I want to trim one of the four drops, so I'll trim a Toski. That changes deck list since that. So, no, I've been pretty happy with this. I don't think the metagame has really shifted very much. Um, one card I'm considering is playing the, the four mana Angel Linvala. That stops your opponent's creatures from being able to activate their abilities um, for the Heliod matchup. That being said, uh, I would be playing that card over Needle, and I played against a ton of Tron yesterday, so I'm a little worried about like cutting a card for the Tron matchup when Tron is such a bad matchup. Um, that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. Both the Birdie, 10 months, thank you for your resubscription. <laughs> Can't go down on Toskies, you'll regret this. So I probably will. But I'm going to keep this hand. I think they're only out there was making you play a mistake or playing around a known card in their hand. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, in what situation, though, do I ever, like, not attack there, you know? I, I mean, I don't think that they had outs even if they play the Oracle, for whatever that's worth. I might counter a Mana Rock here. I'm not sure. You probably have a hard choice with this thought sees. I would say that it's between these three cards, probably. Yeah, Linvala was a uh, Spider Space won the Mana Traders event last month. Main decking for Linvala in the eighty card um, Yorion uh, Taxes deck, which was pretty cool. It's gonna take a good draw. Not a bad draw. We get Batter Skull here. Would Vincer be a card against Tron? I don't really like Vincer in decks without Ephemerate. Or Soul Herder. Oh no. Well. Good beats, I guess. I think I'm playing my own Teferi. But I would describe the shape I'm in as bad here. Maybe we can find Needle for Sheldock Isle? No gem. Gem. No gem. It's an acronym? Oh, bad shape. Got it. Man, I... I haven't been in, like, good shape in, like, a year. No gym, you know, is, is actually true. There was, like, a little bit during the summer where I was working out for, like, a month. And then... I don't know. Just, like, without having, like, safe access to a gym, it's, uh, it's tough. But hopefully I get that that shot soon hopefully uh can get ripped again is control my favorite archetype in modern uh maybe no 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 i don't really have necessarily favorite archetypes i have like specific decks i like i guess and then i also really i typically tend to enjoy decks that 
make me or let allow me to make a lot of decisions. Those tend to be decks that I I really enjoy. Well, I think we're gonna go Sophie. Attack them with Sophie. Attack to Fairy with uh, Stoneforge. Kill their to Fairy and pass. Yeah, things play Grath. It was yeah. The Sunday stream was awesome. Really, it's always good to have like a, a long good PTQ run on stream. I really really enjoy those. You know, my favorite stream I've ever done. Oh, with perfect draw. The, the my favorite stream I've ever done is the PTQ win with Miracles. That was uh, an amazing experience and. I would love to win a PTQ on stream again. The last, the last one I won, I, I did off stream, um, but it was a good run on Sunday. Wait, does Teferi stop Sheldock? It does stop Sheldock, right? Because there's this trigger on the stack. Judge. Yeah, that's pretty gnarly. Notably, if we force this, my opponent can't play a 4-drop this turn. Hmm. Just gonna let it go. The fairy doesn't stop triggers. Yeah, it's not the triggers, it's like the fact that the shell dock trigger is on the stack means that they couldn't be casting the spell at, a, at sorcery speed. That's usually like the rule of thumb for... Does the fairy ravel this fun or does it... You know, does the fun work? You're making my life difficult. I can't choose between just Guy Wildfire Brand Squirrel Blade. That's your deck of choice. Me too, dude. I don't know. I think I think right now I'm on, I'm on Just Guy for tournaments, but uh, usually you know my you know thoughts on that stuff change you know every week. So we'll see what I end up thinking by Saturday. I think both decks are great. I've been loving both. Do you have any opinion on the reflecting pool art variations? Uh, I like the original one. Actually, I'm, I meant to buy just one because I usually I typically just play one reflecting pool and a lot of different mana bases. But I accidentally bought one conspiracy and then one original tempest because I had the I was deciding and then I had the uh, conspiracy one in my cart and I bought it on accident. So now I have mismatching reflecting pools. Tragedy. All right, want to know? Good start. Yeah, I feel like this deck is a great F and M deck. Ooh, this hand. We are on the draw. It's the Castle Art of Veil, Ice Fang, opening hand. I think we can keep though. On the draw. Hope things work out. They worked out. Love the dragon deck. Feels like it doesn't need much to be a tier tech. Yeah, I, I I agree. I feel like the dragon deck has a lot of promise. I'm still I I I I, uh, I worked on it a little bit last night, but the Ori Scale Guardian is a card that I'm trying to figure out. It kind of feels like if you play that card, like just playing two and like triggering it off of fetch lands, isn't going to be the way to go. But that's what I'm trying to figure out. Did Toski steal my heart away from Bant's Ephemerate? Uh, I don't really kind of view the decks as competing very much. I think, like, I, I've def I've been playing both. I played more Bant's Ephemerate last week than Squirrel Blade. Or Rescale Dragon. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's the 7 mana, 4-4 four, four Flying Haste Dragon that costs 1 less for each land in your graveyard. I'm just trying to figure out, like, exactly what kind of support you need to make that card good. Because obviously if you have five lands in your graveyard, that card's uh, very strong. Uh, that's, you know, best case scenario, of course. I don't want them to feel the ruin my castle, so I'm going to try to hold it. Um, that's obviously best case scenario, though. Um, so I was thinking that, you know, you could play some Thought Scours, fill up your graveyard with lands, but but also, like, how many of these dragons are you are can you possibly afford to play? And it's uh, just what I'm trying to figure out. Is that in the next set? No, that was a Modern Horizons card, uh, which is like a it was like a draft archetype uh, enabler or payoff rather. Yeah, that's definitely true. Uh, renter's insurance, good way to keep your collection secure. Yeah. 
Yeah, I haven't I haven't really been enjoying Legacy when I've been playing it recently. As much as I hate saying that. Because I like Legacy. I want I want to like it. My opponent's looking at all their path to exiles. Oh no. <laughs> what do I do here? <laughs> oh no, I I'm playing blue white control. I have all these path to exiles that just are really bad against a lot of the threats in the format. <laughs> if only that I was playing Esper or They're gonna snap path on my hierarch? I mean this nothing is ever resolved more than this, you know what I mean? Nothing is ever resolved more than this. That's because I play Ant over Test. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's like it's kind of like Uros. I, I I have been playing a little bit of Fair Legacy off stream and just haven't enjoyed playing against Uro. Grim Tudin, eleven months. There's an episode of the Solely Singleton podcast about a guy who had his insured collection stolen. And long story short, making claims for insured collections is a huge pain. Yeah. I I believe it. Good tidbit. I guess I'm gonna force this. I don't know, we could let it resolve and then force the Jace. Yeah, let's do that. I'm a little bit worried about like them getting to resolve Jace somehow. And also I'm just like super happy to have this huge mana advantage when I have castle in play. Oh no, I didn't get a second planes! Ah, oh, I'm so so dense. Skirtus, five months, Rovert. Thank you for your Twitch Prime. Sorry, I thought I had, I had the enough white. I um, guess I'll go ahead and Antonize the snap. I think it's unlikely I need to force in Queller. Maybe, but maybe ha like being able to force in Queller should have made me wait. But now we can activate castle. We have a huge mana advantage. We have a small card advantage. We have a board advantage. Well, I guess we're not activating castle necessarily, but now we have the combo of Teferi and Spell Queller. Just gonna Queller this. Then bounce the Queller. Maybe we'll draw a land and have Queller up. Nice. Why did I put a path to higher? Because they have all these path to exiles in their hand in their deck that like they just like feel the urge to cast. You know? <laughs> They're playing blue white control. Like they signed up to just have like bad path to exiles. It's really what it is. Let's main phase this. Would you all Toski or Jace? We want to slam them. Stoneforge Mystic. Okay, I'm just, just not, I, 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 I actually just want this path to resolve so I can get that second planes that I, or second white source that I need. Just look how many cards this path has given me. <laughs> Fine, yeah, must play. I mean, I've been playing Teferi Quality this deck for a while, and there definitely are. Qual I know you, I know you're memeing, but. What's up? It's me, your friend Aspiring Spike. <laughs> Chat was right all along. Always play Queller and Teferi together. Doesn't mean we can't activate Castle because we have to tap the Queller, or tap the White for Queller. But we're also streets ahead, so we can take Solace in that fact. Toski coming down, ending the game. Dude, it's been a while since I've just gotten to slam Toski. Someone earlier someone uh, earlier this week was like, hey, do you have any tips for the blue-white control matchup? And I was like, well, not really. I just kind of think that the matchup is really good. <laughs> uh, this has been my plan, bring in one needle, two veil of summers, and the fourth force. Kind of want to be able to needle hero dominaria. Um and I think it's a bit better than your other choices. You could play like one on the nicer one path. This match has been the biggest argument against path. Yeah, there's there's just like so many, you know, path to exile is a 
fine magic card, but the reality is that Oust is just a better option, or Antonite is a better option in this metagame. You know, and it's like, you don't need to clutch your pearls, you don't need to hold on to Dear Life or Path when they're just better uh, main deck options at the moment. You tried Jesper, uh, Jindrick Esper. I've been watching a lot of uh, Jindrick stream. I watched Nassif play the deck. I think I understand it pretty well. Uh, I think Jeskai is like... Jeskai and Esper are very, very similar. Uh, I think I prefer the Jeskai to the Esper deck. Uh, better mana is a huge deal. Uh, I, and I prefer the red spells to the black spells, but it's very close. Do you think there's a bit of nostalgia with Path that folks can't let go of? I mean... What, one thing with like non-rotating formats like this is that things change. Cards, you know, rotate in and out of being good and being bad. And when a card like Path to Exile is such a staple for so long, when a card like Dark Confidant is such a staple for so long, Tarmogoyf, people have a hard time, you know, relearning re or unlearning things. A really good example is... Uh, as well for all my paper boomers in the chat, which is probably everybody. Um, like, I personally, I'm sure a lot of people who learned magic without the London mulligan, with the Vancouver mulligan, with the mulligan before that, learning to mulligan more aggressively was very difficult, you know? And you had, like, a lot of conventions you needed to, to unlearn. And that's the cool thing about magic is it just changes so much, and... And you know, there's like a good chance Path to Exile is going to be a great, <laughs> a great main deck card again uh, this year. You know, sometime. But being able to be flexible, being able to you know keep an open mind is a really important tool to have. All right, well, into this hand. Tarmogoyf is still amazing. Hot take. I mean, Tarmogoyf is a, is is playable for sure, uh, but it's it's like. Just no, it's just no longer the you know two hundred dollar every single green deck plays for bomb that it used to be. Oh, we drew Toski, so we can't lose. I think we need Temple Garden, Basic Island here. C four, ten months, more emotes, more. I do have I do have one emote slot open. Um, I'm not I'm not sure if I want to fill it or. You know, save it for something. I might lose it, though, if I don't use it, because uh, a lot of the subs were gifted subs this month. All right, I don't... I think that I don't want to let my opponent resolve Tef. No, hold on. So I'm holding, holding up Mana Leak. You have a Path of Skyclave. Uh, I've, I've played Skyclave in this deck, and, like, as good as Skyclave is, it's rough on the mana. Uh, also, like, our, I mean, Anthonices are pretty inexpensive, but if you just don't own them, like, a path in a, like, a path or two or a path in a Skyclave will be fine, but I would recommend playing the Anthonices. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to mana leak that. Just so bad if our opponent resolves a Planeswalker. They missed their land drop. So, I'm, so it's, it's really great that we just have, like, they're missing land drops, and we have Castle Ardenvale to just sit back, start making tokens, and eventually we can Toski. But I think that with the castle, we're just supposed to sit back on it while our opponent's missing land drops. And mana leak this. Have you explored sideboarding Skyclave, or has that just been not an option with the mana base? I mean, you like we do have double white cards in the sideboard. Ariac Champion is even more difficult to cast, but it's such a powerful card in the metagame. I think you need to play it. Um, but I, I, I haven't explored sideboarding Skyclave now. Right, can we get a ban on Trusty Musty? Any mods in the chat? Thanks, guys. Yeah, it's, it's great that we get to spell queller a counter spell here. It's usually like I ideally what you're targeting with queller in this matchup because it's kind of hard for them to like get the value back from queller.
Does Antonides come out against green lead destruction? Yeah, against against Ponza, I, I bring in the pass and the Gargaroths uh, for the Antonises. That might be like just the main changes. Sometimes I'll even like one Antonise. Sometimes I'll play like one champion. Hmm. Kind of have to plus here, right? Am I playing Scroll Blade all day today? Probably not. Uh, but I probably want to play like two leagues. Just see how the day goes. It's a good draw. Do a pre-combat in case our opponent has force of negation. Why are we playing the Snow Duel Lands? We play four copies of Anthonice and four copies of Ice Fang in the main deck. And it's been, we're only playing one and it's been good to have one to fetch four. Do you have another dispute? Okay. Hmm. Great draw. Yeah, nothing can go wrong with Toski. Is wait, is this the first time we've played Scoreblade with the Toski emote? I think it might be. I think I am gonna jam Toski here. Tax their interaction. Chill flick, thank you for your Twitch Prime. Hope you're having a good day. We've had a lot of Toskis get targeted with a counter spell. It'll be kind of funny if uh, it happens again. Hopefully people have learned by this point. Spell Queller does get Toski. Wow. Opponent genius for pairing Spell Queller with uh, Teferi Time Raveler. If they have a path here. If they have a path, they could get out of this. If they do have a path. Sick. All right. Did I have space for a Toski start emote and a Toski tail emote mid chain? Mid chain? Oh, I see, I see. Like have, have, have like a Toski body and then tail. That would have been pretty good. I do actually, I did have space. Maybe I should have commissioned that instead. I mean, I like, I like how it turned out. I only have one more emote slot open, so I can't can't do both. They need to stick like Jace the Mind Sculptor right now. No, I don't think I think our opponent sighted in Spell Queller is my is my guess here. So they need actual dispel or force of negation here if they want this to resolve. So it has Archmage Charm, two mystery cards. I, I doubt they're discarding the charm. They discard Aether Gust. Do I want to move the sword over? I think I do. You'd like a flying snake holding a sword emote, maybe. I don't know. I kind of, I, kinda, I, I think it is good to save the emote slots. Although I, I might, I might lose this one because we have a lot. We had a lot of gifted subs this month, so maybe I should try to fill it up. Yeah, yeah. There's like they'd have to have exactly spell pierce to punish us for moving here. So maybe we can lose this race. Probably not, right? Because the borrower, if they, they if they steal the human token right now, we just get to move the sword on our turn. So we get we should be able to uh, resolve the borrower. Good draw. Free Toski. Free Toski. Could have maybe move the sword over, but I kind of just like like them casting the charm here. There's like they have to have again force plus blue card or actual factual dispel. Green, white, white. 
all he wanted. Right. So even if they verdict, we get to castle here. Hunter gifting four subs. That's nice of you, buddy. I guess I could have should have moved the sword over to Ice Fang. Whatever. Discard to Fairy Hero. Toski, 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 Toski. Hey, Mango. Is Zach Faden get subscribing as well? Do you think there could be a viable Naya Snowboy deck, or is Force Navigation Quella key? We, we, this, we've talked about this like a little bit lately, but the issue with Naya mid range decks is you lack counter spells or discard spells to be able to combat mid range decks, natural predators, which are big mana decks. Uh, you know, you're also like very soft to combo decks. So if you're Naya, you usually have to play Blood Moon, Pillage, cards like this. Um, and and typically it's hard to like make that work with the Naya mana base. But if you can make it work, then then like maybe there's something there. But you know, you know, black gets discard spells, blue gets counter spells, and for red you're gonna have to interact with Blood Moon and like Magus. They draw two, no terminus. Hunter gifting another sub. All right, two o four o. Great start today. Maybe a Naya Stoneblade deck with you as Wildfire Flagstone synergy. Maybe, maybe. Can we keep this hand. Maybe <laughs> a single Simic three jumps ever been good. The yeah, Trigon Predator is a good one. Uh, <laughs> you know that you know that was not a meme like two years ago. Simic was like the worst color combination for modern for the longest time. By Noble Hierarch. At least you didn't die to a Ren and Six. Single Reman and Single Jace looks weird in this deck. Can they replace my two Skyclave? I've played two Skyclave in the deck, and I, I really feel that Skyclave Apparition is a too big a tax on the mana. The Single Jace is in the deck to beat Infinite Life, and the Single Reman is to have like a density of counter spells in a deck that can't really support Cryptic Command very well. Revealed Chandra Torch of Defiance. Wow. They're like, oh, I don't want to attack into Ice Fang. Oh, I probably should sacrifice my Bob because it's going to kill me. Oh, it might just kill my Ice Fang. Sure. They did miss their land drop. Reveal Blood Moon. Yikes. Painful Bob. In fact, do I even, like... Do I even block the Bob here? Like, probably, but... Is Blood Moon, Chandra Torch of Defiance, mystery card. I feel like they have at least one more <laughs> removal spell here. It's kind of, been kind of a weird league so far. Pretty sure we're holding up Leak slash Queller. Which one is better, Rakdos Midrange or The Rock? I like a Jabberwocky's Rock list that he uh, did well in Sunday's PTQ with. Uh, I have a I have a Rakdos Witch's Cottage deck that I've been working on that I that I also like, so both seem reasonable to me. Pretty lopsided game. Alright, so I want these veils. Probably want the Ariac champions against the red black deck. Sometimes they can just like ignore this with like a Kroxa, but Probably worth having, huh? 
They're gonna play like three copies of Aunt and Ice, one copy of Force of Negation, cut the Borrower, cut the Remand. Wouldn't hate like one Pithing Needle either for their Planeswalkers, but... Oh, you know what? Spell Queller is actually pretty poor in these matchups. Maybe I'll play like one Queller, but... Play like the second Force. Really wish our champion gets a reprint or something. Yeah, I think it would have been pretty good for Time Spiral, Remastered, Old Border, Ariok Champion. Is it a new haircut? It's, uh, it's a couple days old now. Relatively new, I guess. Oh, easy keep. How is Gargan these mid-range matchups? Sometimes they bring it in, sometimes they don't. Uh, Jund actually has like a surprising lack of uh, answers to it. So I usually bring it against Jund, but against a deck like Red Black that I'm not really sure exactly what's going on, I'm a little more hesitant to, to play it. But if I if I feel like I get a better understanding of what they're doing, I might, uh, for game three, bring in the Gorgoroths. Things towards my Mardu Stoneboy list. The Mardu list in the Stream Decker it was a donation deck. Um, there, were, there was a decent number of changes I would have made, like specifically cutting the Skyclaves because they're really hard on the mana base. Take the Stone Forge, sure. Don't really mind that since this means I don't have to tap out on turn two and it can keep up Leak for a three drop. If they play Bob, I'll cycle a Veil of Summer. They know about double Veil, so it's going to be kind of hard to get full use out of these. Have I tried Skyclave and Squirrelblade? Yeah, we've actually talked about this a few times today. But yeah, uh, I, I did play Skyclaves in a while, and uh, they were surprisingly really tough on the mana. And there were a lot of spots where we had Skyclave, and then double white was just not free to have, and... Uh, I mean, I, I do think Skyclave is a good card, of course, and it's a, it's a, definitely a, a card you want to be considering for these kind of lists, but being basic island here, right? But at the time of making this comment, I think it's not where you want to be. Notably, they actually had no black mana there, huh? All right, drawing, drawing Ice Fang, I'm definitely holding up mana. Kind of got punished for getting island, though. What's the loudest noise I've ever made? Uh, I don't know how to answer that question, so I guess I won't. Scott, 17 months. Hope you're having a good day today. I'm gonna leak this. It's a long time, Scott. Good on plus, so if they play Blood Moon, we can bounce it. Although we also, you know, get you know our second basic land, and they don't even have any swamps. It's also weird that they cast the Thought Season to the known Veil of Summers, right? Okay. So can't immediately bounce, but we do have, you know, two colors. Good last card to have. Bano, five months. Thank you for the kind words. Welcome back. All right. Let's bounce the Blood Moon. So this gets blown out by Lightning Bolt, but Seems fine to not play around it. I feel like if they had a second bolt, I, I guess they just spiraled, but never mind. Yeah, you know, if they, had, if they had a bolt, they would have bolted to fairy. Yeah. Can cast the Alton Ice next turn after the Blood Moon comes back down, so. Just gonna cast it now. Again, they knew about this Veil of Summer. I was kind of confused. 
Their hand is Blood Moon Mystery card. Sure. They discard the Blood Moon. Guess I'm getting a Plains. Probably attack Liliana with Stoneforge Mystic. And then deal two to Stoneforge. Or sorry, to Liliana. Right, they drew a second Liliana. They edict this time. This has been a very lopsided game. Maybe running out land pre combo is bad in case they in case we drew force. Hmm. Well. If they if they place if they have Liliana, they're drawing one card a turn. And if we draw force, they'll either cast it into the force or just plus. But yeah, maybe maybe we should have just helped the land. But we are 3-0-6-0, which is trying to keep it fresh. How many hats do I own? I've got like five or six for like the channel point redemption option. I don't really own very many outside of that. I've got a couple, I guess. I'm gonna keep this, put back mana leak number two. Obviously, no blue mana is awkward. We can still turn two stone forge with force up, so I think this is a keep. Oh yeah, they also had archive trap, of course. Then that's how they got up to their recalls. We could force this. Yeah, I actually think I, I want to do this. Like the force is just not very good against these like Grixis shadow decks. Obviously, it feels terrible to force a Thoughtseize on the mole to six, but what are you going to do? I'm sure we'll tell the crazy bad beat stories again, or you could maybe save up to 30,000 channel points and ask me to tell it. You should never kill Stoneforge Mystic in response to the trigger. Let them search first. Uh, Thalia Tyrell redeemed a hat. Which hat would you like me to wear today? Dealer's choice, or... If you don't have a preference. I think this is a good matchup, although our hand is maybe not gonna be one that's gonna win game one. I wonder if they're playing the the Delver. No, no, if they're playing the Delver variant uh with Scourge, they would have revealed Luris. That deck's pretty cool. Shark hat, alright. Very fitting. Sharkat is maybe maybe missing an action. I don't know where it is. Actually, I don't know where it would have gone. Oh. Come back and we're dead. Do you want, me to, you want a refund, Thalia, or do you want a different hat? I got the Viking one, I've got the squid one over here, I've got like the really big one. I don't know where the shark hat is though. So we had Ice Fang main phase, try to find Antonice. Or Hierarch. Find Antonice, it's just the nuts, because we get to have Death Touch. Okay. Refund, please, sure. Uh, if, if the mod could refund Thalia's channel points, it's Shark Hat or nothing. <laughs> Is Angler better Delver than Delver? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. But getting Luris' companion and Delver turning on Scourge is kind of cool. Although I was watching Doom Lake yesterday, and Doom was saying that like he kind of felt like uh, Swift Spear was just better than Delver in that deck. Why don't you side Graveyard Hate? We actually have a good Dredge matchup. Uh, Stoneforge Mystic, Aryak Champion, Elder Gargaroth, they're all really good against Dredge. And... Um, you know, we have a lot of counter spells for like the living end matchup, so I don't I don't think that we need to have graveyard hate, because we actually I think just have good graveyard matchups as is. 
at the moment, at the time of making this comment. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the Quellers. I, sometimes you can play one force. I think we're not playing any forces. I think three leaks is a decent number. I think I'm gonna cut the Jace. No, Jace is okay. So I guess sometimes we go minus one Stone Forge, minus sort of Fire Ice in this matchup. I can't remember what my sideboard guide says exactly. I guess I could pull it up. If you're interested in getting a sideboard guide for the stack, they are available to subscribers on the Discord. And I'm trying to get a, the Jess guy one together. And thank you for your patience on that. Plus two path, plus three Ariac champion, minus one storage, minus the fire ice, minus three quality, minus one borrower, minus two force. Minus one remand. So this has me leaving in four mana leak and playing the first force over the borrower. I think I'm actually going to play, do this, play three lake. I, I'm going I'm to keep in the borrower. I think I'm going to change that in the sideboard guide. Keep. I feel like if you need a guide, you're not learning the game and just playing a brain dead. Well, I wrote the guide. Uh, but also you can learn from the guide. I feel like guides hinder people with progress in learning the game. I like couldn't disagree more. I, if anything, I feel like guides help people learn the game. I also feel like that comment was rude in general. Off topic, Queller, it's a fairy package for Yorian variant of Inverter Herder. Maybe, I, my, my, my very first tra draft of Inverter Herder did have a uh, Yorian in it. And I, uh, I'm oh, sorry, it's a fairy in it, and I feel like it's better in the sideboard. I, I, I would maybe be down to see a draft, but I really don't think you want to play Yorian. I think you want to keep the card, the deck 60, so you can combo as off, combo as often as possible. It's like spoon feeding versus encourage learning. Classic. Uh, I feel like your comment was learn, you know, rude, and just like just keep making kind of rude comments. Just double down, double down, double down. Would I be willing to put this in the hat rotation? Maybe. Let's see. Uh, maybe. I, I don't want anybody to buy me a hat, but I'll uh, I'll think about it. Think about buying it for myself. All right, I think I'm going to attack with my... Hmm, No, I think I'm going to not attack and then upkeep path with the leak up for this turn. Yeah, let's just path in response. No, I'm not. Magic players have to be one of the most toxic communities. I mean, I feel like my chat's typically really good. Uh, although I got like in this conversation on Twitter yesterday to just like, ah, it was so frustrating. It's also someone just being just so rude with their opinions. I was not being rude. You mean you called Cyborg guys brain dead? I'm also like, you know, this is, you know, a little less relevant, but I, I'm a content creator trying to like offer incentives for subscribing and, you know, you're here like saying you're brain dead if you buy or, you know, subscribe to get the Cyborg guide. It's also rude. You don't think they're trying to be rude? I, I don't think... I, I don't think I agree that they were trying to be rude, but they were being rude, you know. I don't know. I'm gonna hide the Gargaroth from a discard spell. It's just like the same thing, like people who call net deckers brain dead, or you know, they say they say things like that. You just are being rude. I think I'm discarding sword. You could see it, you apologize. I know, I mean, I know that you're, I don't know, it's just like, I don't know what it, I don't know if it's like American culture, I don't know what it is, but there's just seems to be like some prevailing attitude that just like admitting that you were in the wrong and just like taking a beat is just like, just nobody does it, you know?
it's like just so hard for people to say, yeah, I was, you know, being a little rude by, you know, calling the cyborg guy that you made brain dead. Uh, it's just, I just don't understand. They apologize. I mean, their apology was like, okay, man, okay, I concede, I apologize. Like, you know, maybe I'm misreading this, but it looks very, very much like they're, you know, being sarcastic, you know? I don't know. I think I'm discarding Toski. I think playing into the Liliana is not that good, and their last card, if it's a threat, we just really want to have this onto nice. That was that we need to move on. I guess, I don't know. I mean,. You know, maybe I'm commenting on this so much because I'm feeling like a bit burned out from comments like this, you know? I'm not sure what all these timeouts are. I don't know. I Maybe I'm out of line. It's hard to tell for sure in the moment, I guess. That's what chat does. Yeah, I mean, and then I just think it's super important to call people out when they're being shitty, though. You know, just like the attitude that you can you can say stuff like this, and if someone disagrees with you, you know, you know that's them being soft. I really hate that kind of attitude. I'm gonna bounce. I'm gonna bounce the Lee Manalika on the way down with Veil vale up. Yeah, why not kill? Look, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I'm just like not seeing these messages, but I don't know. I don't know how. Like, I mean, I, I know, I'm. I'm sure you, you. I don't know. I just don't know what what's all the times out times out for. Like besides that one guy, I haven't really see, feel like I've seen anything that requires times out. But maybe I've missed it. Vanna, thank you for getting the five subs. I appreciate ya. I thought you were over it. Let's try to stop. I don't know. It's just like I feel like if I'm still if I'm still talking about it, I'm not over it. I guess. I, I do appreciate you being proactive, but I'm still talking about it and people are responding. I kind of just wanted to open the dialogue a bit. Um, and as long as people aren't being rude, it's just like fine to keep talking about it. Especially if I'm talking about it and then the mods are, you know, deleting responses, it's probably a bit bad. But if people are being rude, then, you know, delete it, of course. Play Mystic here. Thanks, Dirk Side. Yeah, we can kind of move on. I don't know. I, you know, maybe I acted a little stronger than I usually would just because there were. You know, it, this kind of stuff builds up over time where you just have, you have people that are being rude uh, and, you know, you kind of call them out and then it's just, it just, every single time it happens, they just won't hear it, you know, they just won't, you know, and like, e even when I, I like very politely said, hey, you're being a bit rude, you know, they just, they just like won't hear it. They just double down, double down, double down. And it, I don't know, it just kind of builds up over time, I guess. Well, they're going to let me put in Batter Skull? I guess they have an answer to it, but now we have a Force of Negation. A little hello from France, a little hello from Texas. I also have two Antonises.
Man, we have Veil vale Summer. I mean, we've drawn very well here. So I feel like they probably have a counter spell for this Ontonice, right? This was their plan, and then us drawing Veil vale just totally blown them out. <laughs> veil vale of Funner, yeah. Yeah, so that's why they didn't, they didn't take the batter skull. If they have another counter spell, they're like definitely still in it. But if they don't, it's just over. Well, off to a four and zero start. Let's get a prediction going on if we're gonna get trophy number ten of the season. Well, it's gonna be pretty good if we had a second land, but we'll just send it back. Keep this, put back force of negation number two. I think. We're probably getting Temple Garden. I, I usually, when I lead on Hierarch and I need to get a dual land, I get Temple Garden so that way I can get Temple Garden Basic Island and then have uh, all my colors of mana and be able to cast Ice Fang. I don't think I'm forcing a removal spell on my Hierarch on turn one, nor an Inquisition. It took the higher makes sense. Easy clap. Keep a one lander. Get super rewarded. To oh, didn't draw our Teferi to combo with our spell queller. Oh, people keep saying it, and I don't actually understand the interaction. Does anybody know why people keep saying Spell Queller and Teferi are good in the deck together? People keep saying, you have Teferi in your deck, have you considered adding Spell Queller for the combo? I just don't know what they're talking about. Are there any like smart geniuses in chat who have it figured out? This might be, I saw, I saw that um, Andrew Jessup, I think, or one of the Jessup brothers, Played an Abzan Stoneblade deck with Toski last night, and someone in chat told me that they 5 0'd, which, is, which might be this list the Toski Mirror. Be more convinced. It's more convincing, Spike, if you can pre prevent myself from smiling. It's tough. I was doing this bit yesterday, too. <laughs> it's a decent bit. I'll uh, say mana cost, kind of like Oko and Uro, how they were a good combo. Yeah, yes, yesterday people kind of fell for it. They get a batter skull here. Kind of stinks to go shields down, but this is the line. This is the way. Yeah, uh, I have played Skyclave in the past in Squirrel Blade, Nicholas, but the problem is it makes your mana base much worse to play it, uh, I found, so... I think it's better to not include it. The combo! Hmm. Let me attack first. I might just want to save fo Hardcast Force for their Batter Skull, but I guess we could just like Ontonize the Germ Token. They also like don't definitely have a land. Can fetch up a Glacial Floodplain here. And his Noble Hierarch Batter Skull mystery card. The Peatland really, really painful here. I've been pretty against pain lands in these like mid-range decks, or most mid-range decks, I should say. I was playing them in the Inverter Herder deck, but just like it's just so many, so many aggro decks, so many Swift Spear decks. I guess I'll play around uh, Trophy, right? Sweet. Pretty happy to win that game. Uh, like after taking the mulligan in that matchup, it can be kind of tough to win. You know what? Let me actually see if I can find Jessup's list because I think this is probably what they're playing. I don't remember exactly what it looked like. I could look at maybe I don't know if this is like a Co Diamonds list or yeah. But I saw yeah, it was Andrew Jessup. I couldn't remember which one it was, but they posted this. So I'm kind of assuming that's what this is. So they do have Path to Exile, Kyle's Guile, Maelstrom Pulse, Cyborg Trophies, Cyborg Torpor Orb. It's kind of interesting. And your Stoneforge deck? This is for the Heliod matchup. 
maybe. Interesting. I feel like four ley line feels like way too many in your Stoneforge deck too. Like Stoneforge like means you beat Dredge a decent amount of the time. Was that a brain dead move I just did pulling up uh, the list and trying to figure out how to play against it? I think I'll play like two fours, maybe one or two. Orbs are for inverter, I see. Hmm. Interesting. I think I'm gonna play one Gargaroth, two force, one Queller. Kinda like that force deals with souls. Souls seems like a tough card for us. Mm. I hate mulliganing in this matchup, but this is a mulligan. Keep this. You were putting back a land. Could be like a four drop. Turn one noble. I think I'm getting a floodplain on turn one. I think playing fountain tap is also totally fine here though. Yeah, being on the draw against the turn one high arc without uh Anthem Nice or High Arc is kinda tough in this spot. But we also, you know, we won game one and got a pretty grindy hand. If we draw a two drop, I'm feeling pretty good, or you know, Anthem Nice maybe. If my opponent sticks a turn two Lily on the play, feeling worse. Officially feeling worse. I think I'm discarding Toski just because it's pretty soft to Liliana here. Goodbye, Toski. Oh my gosh, the value! Modern's been pretty good. Playing for 5 0 against Abzan midrange with your Ban. Like Abzan Stoneblade versus Ban Stoneblade for the 5 0. It's having a good time. They discard Path to Exile. They're probably flashing back souls. I think I'm supposed to bounce a souls token. It's kind of close. Do you expose to fair without the other half of the combo? <laughs> I had a trophy. Goodbye to fairy. Goodbye three life points. Oh, opponent's also about to ulti. Yeah, I think we're going to game three. Oh no, we drew the second half of the combo right on time. What a what a tragedy. I just don't know how one person could be so unlucky. So do I play four? I think I'm gonna keep playing. Uh, although they have like a weird pause on my jaw step. Is this like a second trophy? I think I'm playing second forest over castle. One, because I think my opponent might have trophy. And two, because I have an Elder Gargaroth in my deck right now. But if they plus, you know, they might not be able to ultimate. Yeah. So if we get to Queller their play this turn. Hit Liliana. They discarded a Liliana. You don't get why Absent is running double, isn't birds better? Hmm. I mean, Exalted is pretty relevant. Birds obviously taps for black, which is good in your Liliana deck. So I guess we're gonna go bounce your spirit token, attack Liliana for two, and cry. Crying is gonna be, oh no, 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 no. We're gonna brainstorm into a green source and try to veil of summer this emblem. Was it Lily plus the Greedy? Yeah, maybe a little. I didn't find the green source. I think we have to play the Jace and hit the green there. I don't know. All right, gonna be on the play for game three. Submit. Good hand. Panda, 10 months, welcome back, buddy. Appreciate you being here. 
DKD, 83, two months. We're having a good one. Dude, then we get to go Antonice into Toski. Get to go Antonice plus Ice Fang this turn into Toski. Well. And we also just have a Kargaroth too, but. Hard to draw it up better than this. <laughs> well, they have the nuts too. We might be able to battle through. Hard to tell for sure. That's gonna be hard to beat. Almost conceded out of despair, but decided decided to decided to try try to win this game at least. I'm just, it's yeah, just a bit, uh, Mana Traders. Just a bit. Probably not one of my better bits, but one I enjoy. They got a better skull with their Stone Forge. So they can't Path plus activate Stone Forge this turn. I guess they could maybe, okay, yeah. Pretty good, casual three for one with Toski. That's worse for us. Am I playing Gargaroth? I kind of we can we can play Gargaroth with Mana Leak up next turn. Hmm. I'm jamming. They probably don't have too many more answers to this. It's like one more path, and if they brought in trophies, which I don't know that they should have. Eskinor, thank you for a Twitch Prime. Hope you're having a good day today. Assuming, I think we know their list. Like, Liliana can't Edict here, of course. Engineer, killing humans or killing snakes? Killing humans. So now Engineer can trade for Gargaroth, which is less than ideal. Is it a trade we still want to take? Maybe. They also take four. Yeah, because they take four, I think we're going to do it. I think I'm drawing a card here. We could also, I think Beast Token could be pretty reasonable. Yeah, I think attacking with just Ice Fang is like a fine line. Hopefully, we draw Teferi to bounce this orb. Chase the Mind Sculptor, second Toski. Really thought we were so ahead. We were, we were so ahead. Perfect. What a swingy game. What a swingy game. So their hand is Batter Skull, Torpor Orb, Mystery Card. I'm getting Sophie here. What a swing. Five oh believers are paid off. Oh my gosh. That was a great match. One of the best matches we've played uh in a while. A sixty three percent.